hello. It's so good to see you again. Today, I'd like to do something new and fresh. I will be showing you how to bucket drum. Come with me. During this five-part series, I will be teaching you how to play drums on buckets. It is very important to make note of the key differences between buckets and drums. First of all, the cost is vastly different. The bucket is way cheaper than an actual drum. And you also may have to make note of the different drum technique when you hold the drumstick because the rebound is different. You won't get as much rebound with buckets. Well, it depends on which buckets you use. Some of them do have more rebound, but you will have to adjust accordingly to the surface. So, with that being said, let's find ourselves a bucket. Now, I need a pair of drumsticks. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we go. Uh. Uh. Well, let's get started. All right, looks like we're all set for the lesson today. The stick grip is very important. You want to make sure you just have your hand out like this. Just two fingers showing right here. Just these two fingers, the thumb and the index. Just hold it out like this. Put the stick into around here. I would say about maybe two thirds from the top, from the point to here, um, or or you say one third from the bottom. And you can just hold your stick like this, and then just. Wrap your three fingers around it, loosely, not tightly. And you want to make sure the stick can move freely, like that. If you push the stick over here, see that? It just goes back on its own. The important thing about this is that you should be able to strike the drum without having to pull the stick back up. You are saving energy by only focusing on striking the drum down. And when you strike the drum, it will come up naturally. See the bucket here, you just strike the drum like this. It goes up on its own. I swear that I am not pulling the stick up. There's some rebound on the head and it would go up naturally. It feels really good when you play it this way. So, yeah. Make sure you do the same for your left hand. Also, it's important to understand um, notes. Let's just say, like, you know, when you feel one measure, typically you will feel in time of four. There are four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? And each of those claps I just did, those are quarter notes. And there are four quarter notes in one measure. That's what four, four meant. The top is how many beats um, in a measure. And then there is four at the bottom, which are quarter notes. If you see four and four, there are four quarter notes. And you will have a measure of four beats. And typically you will hear a metronome that will play out like this. You will hear four beats. One, two, three, four. 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 One measure, the next measure, and the next measure, and so on. You get the picture. Now, I would recommend that you would get pro metronome. See this app right here? You see it right there? I would recommend getting this app. This is available for the mobile device. It's more convenient. I would figure it would be easier to get this 
boot or mobile device than just trying to get the actual physical metronome. But I mean, if you have it, cool, use it. Use it wherever you have it. And if you don't have a mobile device, you can actually go on a website and there are some free um, online metronomes that you can use. And they're, they're, they're everywhere. You, you, I'm sure you'll have no problem finding one. So yeah, so use it when you can. I will be doing exercises for you, play along exercises. You will be playing with me. You stay in time and make sure you lines up really well. You don't want it to hear like a, like a, you want to be together. It is your reference of timing. The first one is, I want you to practice playing just quarter notes, right, left, right, left, at 90 beats per minute. I know it's very slow, but I just want to make sure you're, that your timing is locked down. I want you to do this for a couple of minutes or more if you want to. And the next one, I want you to alternate each measure, quarter notes and eighth notes. It would be one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one. Now, I want you to do the same with 120 beats per minute. Can you do it? Well, that's it for today, and if you enjoy that, please subscribe, like, and or comment below. And I'll see you next week, and don't forget to eat your greens.